Welcome back to another episode of Madden 24 Superstar Career Mode presented by the EA Creator Network. As a reminder, I do have early access to Madden 24, so this is a work in progress build of the game. Some things you see right now may not be exactly how they are when the game launches for you. Now, we obviously know that I'm on the Seahawks, but a lot of people were probably wondering, well, what about Geno Smith? Well, they actually traded him, which is really cool for this Superstar Mode. Now, Geno ends up going to the LA Rams, which is really cool because in years past, I feel like they just would have put him on the Seahawks and you just would have been starting over him and it would have been kind of awkward. And so my quarterback room is basically me, Drew Locke, and Holton Aylers. I don't really feel intimidated at all. Now, before you actually hop on the field, there's a couple things you can do. You can edit your superstar, you can talk about your entire uniform, you can actually look at the animations. There's obviously going back to your appearance. And then there's essentially the info that you put in from the get go. I want to talk about the animations really quickly because this is something that I'm really excited about. Now they have celebration packages for touchdowns, first downs, interceptions, sacks, tackle for loss, celebration runs. They have a whole lot of stuff here. And what I think is also really cool is you can see right next to my camera here includes with and without ball animations for some of these, which again, I like it. There's different versions of the spike we're pretty much seeing. There's kind of a fidget dance you can kind of see here. They have a dance free throw. Y'all know I love basketball. That was the worst jump shot I've seen in a while. They keep going through. So you start with these uncommon uh, options here. Then they go to sort of the rare options. They get a little bit crazier here. Uh, they got Dance Weekend. We can kind of check this one out real quick. That kind of looks like the Bernie almost. They have superheroes basically in here. There's so much different stuff they ultimately bring in, but I like that they're tearing it out. You have your uncommons, you have your rares, and they go down to the epic, which is obviously the gritty, which everyone's going to be seeing. Is even a car wheel flip? What the heck? They have a whole lot of different stuff in here. They have the Dance Boogie. Okay, then they go to the cartwheel flip again. We'll look at this one more time. I mean, the camera's kind of moving around, but you can get the gist of that. And what's also cool is that first downs have their own thing. It's not like the exact same thing from the touchdown category to sort of put over. You go through these and there's a whole lot of different options. We can check out the low step real quick. Uh, you can go down to the wave. I mean, it's just pretty basic. They even go to epic. And what we didn't see previously is they have a legendary option as well. So we saw that previously for touchdowns, the gritty was listed under Epic, which is 20,000 credits. Now, if you want to get it for the first down, which obviously is a little bit more difficult to pull that off, then you got to go to the legendary tier. Now, something to keep in mind when you look at interceptions or sacks, these are things that as your player isn't just going to be doing these in the league. They also have the showdown side of things where if you're playing the defensive side of the ball, you pull one of these off. These celebrations are for that. They're not really for your guy. You're not, your guy's not going to throw an interception to be out here trying to act like a superhero. Like if he does this, you're going to be kind of salty at him. But again, as we go through, we can check out Sacks, for example. You can go all the way down. They have uh, Epic for that tier currently. Again, these could extend differently when we get to actually to the retail version of the game. We go to Tackle for Loss. We're going to see again Epic as well. They've got Gone Fishing. They have a celebration run, which is actually pretty cool. So you can do, I'm assuming this is like after. Oh, this could actually be. Wait a second. I think this is actually when you have the footballs. This is when you do left trigger, right trigger, for example, and you're celebrating. These are how you equip this. So gone are the days where you're just sort of doing, I'm assuming, a random one and maybe getting tackled. They've got some different options here, and I'm here for that. They even have Tyreek Hill's peace sign as he's running away. Uh, this is cool. I really like this. And just for reference up here, if you use the right trigger, if you're on Xbox or R2, if you're on PlayStation, you can sort by ones you have owned, a common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary as the ultimate tiers. And then from a gameplay animation side, from a quarterback perspective, you've got a lot of different quarterbacks you can look at. Now, what's interesting here is that they have these listed as common. And then if you go over here, there's common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. So I'm interested to see how this maybe pans out. Like maybe there will be legendary tiers you can get for a quarterback throwing motion, but they have different ones you can ultimately equip. I, I think for us, Aaron Rodgers obviously has like a super quick one. We'll go with that one for now. Now back here in your home screen, you have on-field drills. When you select this one, you have an option that comes up. So it says target passing on the move mini game. Put your passing accuracy to the test by timing throws to shatter as many moving targets as possible. Your rewards are plus 25, 50, or 100 XP. There's a passing skeleton mini game. There's a target passing mini game. So you get different options basically for you to try out. For me, I don't want to try the move one yet. I'm going to try the regular target passing mini game and see how we do. And then what's interesting as well, they go a step further. If you get silver, you get plus three throwing power. Uh, if you get gold, you get plus five throwing power as well for that. So pretty simple. Gold is 20K, silver is 10K, bronze is 3K. You know what the controls are. Let's get it. All right, so the goal here is to hit the targets. That was a good one. We'll take that a little plus 400 and you get a little catch bonus and a multiplier increase, but it's not easy. Like you got to kind of find these guys. I kind of do this a little bit just to scramble through and he didn't catch it. What was he doing? Yeah, it's not. I wouldn't call this easy. And if you can hit multiple targets like that one, we got multiple targets. That's actually kind of nice. Let's see if we can do single target again. 
yeah you in my opinion i don't know how you hit the deep ones but scrambling over i think is definitely the move so if you're doing this drill and trying to figure out how to do it woo, we hit a bullseye we got plus four thousand. okay we're at least gonna get bronze in this one let's go over here oh we hit a bullseye again and he caught it yeah this is definitely the move okay we've got ourselves a silver let's see if we can get our guy i'm gonna try to hit a here and i just completely whip we should have done that like 10 times earlier but i'll take the decent little bonus we got let's see if we can get back on it all right, we hit two. That's beautiful. All right, so we end up with 15,930 points. Again, it looks a little bit easier than probably what it is, but I promise you it's a little difficult. Now we get a bonus workout that comes up. Focus on stopping defenders with a well-placed stiff arm. So under pressure training, uh, obviously, I think that would be huge, or throw power training. This is only for the next game. I'm going to try throw under pressure training. Again, you can see that pops up. That's pretty easy, and it's nothing you have to actually do. It's just sort of something that is thrown onto your account for you. What's also really nice is that when you go to game day, you can see right here a quick snapshot of your team's rating, the other team's rating, the boost you have for this game. We have throw under pressure, throw power, and throw accuracy mid. And then you can get a look at your standings for the division and the overall ranks for the teams. What is the preseason? There's no real rankings and the top player to watch out for in their squad. Something we forgot to jump into, though, was looking at your team uniform and just sort of figuring out what you ultimately have. You can change a lot of your gear and let's just kind of see what they got. So current helmet, uh, you can also oh, they have the 1990s helmet. You can kind of equip here. They have the 2000s helmets. You can definitely see this stuff pretty easily. And this is basically lets you set your uniform presets from the get go. You could have your practice alternate jersey if you wanted. We're obviously going to put this 1990s Seahawks uniform because I love it. And then again, from a lower body perspective, tons of different options for you. Again, we're going to go ahead and rock the 1990s pants. That's what we ultimately want to see. And then from your shoes, you can check out again your socks for this one. Uh, you can go to your left shoe texture so you can see the different shoes you can basically wear there. Trying to match up a little bit. We're going to rock, uh, I think. I think we're gonna rock black. You can actually have two different shoes, which is kind of wild. They were actually gonna do that. We're gonna have two different shoes for this game and to see how it works out. Yeah, so there you have it. You can have a white shoe and you can have a black shoe and you can be as stylistic as you wanna be. And then after you select your uniform, you can actually go into the specific gear. So we're clicking headgear here, for example. You can change your face mask. This is cool to me. Your face mask and your other uniform stuff per uniform that's such a cool thing and what i also love is that they show you that some helmets cannot equip certain face masks so for example if there's a little red icon like you see right here you cannot equip that helmet and that face mask together but if it's open like this one for example you can rock it they even have the riddell axiom which looks like the most futuristic thing i think i've ever seen on a football helmet before we're gonna throw that helmet on and then from a torso perspective you can do the tight jersey sleeves you can do long jersey sleeves you can do loose one Whatever you basically want to do here, they've got an option for it. And to me, I think this is probably the best way you can put equipment on because I always want to see visually what something looks like. And I'd rather just go through a list like this than having to pan through stuff for four hours. Like this to me is the way they should be doing equipment across the board. They also give you a really cool look at all the different gloves you have. Again, you can wear a glove on one hand. You can wear a glove on both hands, whatever you essentially want. But I feel like they've got a much better grip, no pun intended, on equipment this year like this is a ridiculous amount of options to have for your gloves i'm here i'm here for that and again something you're going to notice here is at the very top above the name nike super bad four and a half glove they have common listed again i don't think there's anything legendary or epic currently in our repertoire but it feels like that's something you can unlock later on they've got towel placement sort of listed out for you from a hand warmer perspective i think you pretty much just have the hand warmer on or you don't have a hand warmer on at all they have position of a hand warmer so again front back and then uh, i believe that's pretty much all you have there from a knee you can wear regular knee pads you can have nike knee pads i always kind of offer nike knee pads for me uh, and then from a base layer you can have compression shorts on this impacts you more so if you're playing in showdown than it does actually in this um, and then from a thigh pad perspective you can put the nike thigh pad on as well then we have sock height again super quickly you can just adjust what that base layer sort of looks like for you uh we keep ours pretty standard from a shoe perspective again there's the common all the way through legendary i'm assuming as we play and earn and unlock stuff especially across the different modes from the league to showdown there's more and more shoes we can basically get in i think the jordan mid fives are new to this year's game i don't recall seeing those before so that's kind of cool for me uh, but basically you have to make sure for these that you have to have your left shoe and your right shoe uh, pretty much matching if you're going to put these on. Oh, they have the Jordan low sevens as well. The Jordan mid seven. Okay, there's actually more Jordans in here than I remember seeing 
in years past. I could be tripping, but I don't think I remember seeing this many Jordans before in the game. All right, so when you're here, you can upgrade your skills, equip abilities, or go to your level path. We're gonna upgrade skills first and foremost. And now for this, they break down pretty much every single rating. You have throw power, you have your different accuracy, throwing on the run under pressure, break sack, spin, juke move, all that stuff is really important. But for me, 75 throw power, that ain't it. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade this. If you ever played their NBA Live series, this feels very similar to that, where you're sort of upgrading, and it's not just a point by point. Each thing will cost a little bit more. And then as those things go up, like for example, this total cost would be two. We only have one skill point. But as you kind of increase each level, there's a gain. So we went from 75 to 78 with one skill point. The next one would be 81. The next one would give us um, an arm talent for bronze. So there's different ways to sort of get your way all the way up. As you will work your way all the way up here, you get the gold tier for the arm talent. Uh, but there's things you have to do to make that happen. So for example, you would need 250 bullet pass completions to get to that point once you've gotten to this level. I kind of like that. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and upgrade. We'll get our one skill point in, and now we can throw the ball a little bit farther. And we also have an ability, so we'll go to the equip ability screen. Now we're obviously not to an X factor at this point, but we have a bronze ability we can equip. So let's see what's available. Next up, we're gonna go to the equip ability screen. We obviously aren't really at an X factor spot yet. Hopefully one day we get there, but for now we have the ability to equip and equip uh, and a bronze ability. Now, you see that we have a couple different things here none of which we seem to have unlocked. Eventually we will get there, but right now we're working on getting our arm talent up. Again, we need to upgrade a few more things to get to that point where then we can equip that ability and then see how we do. And keep in mind here, it shows you directly what you need to do. We need to get that up to an 84 overall for throw power. Then if we wanna to get to the silver tier, we need to get it up to a 90 and have 125 bullet pass completions. You wanna get it to gold, you need a 99 throw power rating and 250 bullet pass. The same thing would go down to conductor, you have that at bronze, uh, deep dead eye, we can go all the way up to gold for this one, a movable object. There are tiers and things you have to basically unlock for each one. To me, this is kind of cool. You want juke elite on your quarterback, you need to get to a 99 juke skill rating and you need 250 juke moves near defenders to make this work. So you have to actually do the work, get these stuff, upgrade it and then you need to do some things in the game too i love that now ojo cinco himself says look you got a showdown with aaron donald this week we're talking about a real game record here and he happens to be a member of the 99 club he's got what you want go take it from you. okay let's get the dump your list of activities will obviously be a little bit longer in the regular season unless you're on a short week then obviously a little bit shorter but first up brand focus we can be a dancing machine we post a video on social media get 100 cred or we can call out the opposing team in an interview i want to call the opposing team and we'll see what that ultimately does for us. Next, you have your on-field drills, which to me, this is the most important thing. We've done these before. You kind of saw this earlier in the video, but these are really important to really get yourself that XP that you need. For your free time, you got game night, you got a prank war, you've got too slow, you can get your speed up a little bit for the next game. Uh, I'm thinking the way that I am right now, I would kind of like to go for the speed because I'm gonna need that against Aaron Donald. That dude's gonna be running down everybody the entire time. We got a bonus workout. We can do juke moves, we can get strength, or we can have a better agility. I'm going agility on that one. Um, and again, these things are very small moments of your week that I think will be super helpful. You can get better stamina on our extra recovery day, better agility and max stamina um, for one game, and then speed and max stamina. I'm going hot tub time, speed and max stamina. We're gonna need that again today. And then we also have something here called a season mission, shoot for the stars or be conservative. To me, this is probably one of those season goal things where you're figuring out what you're gonna be, and it exactly is that. Passing yards, passing touchdowns, those are the two options you can have as a quarterback. You can go from 1,500 on the low end to 4,000 on the high end. And this actually is important because you can get 1,600 XP for your reward on that. Passing touchdowns, again, 15 in the low end, 30 on the high end, you can get 1,600 XP for that. I'm gonna go 30 touchdowns, I believe in myself. Our very first look at what we're gonna be doing in the NFL. This camera angle is kind of dope. All right, so we have our teammate grade up on the top right hand side, and we're gonna just see what we do here. Oh, your boy out here slinging it. My first pass looking kind of good. I think it's also really cool that we're facing the Rams the first game, because that's where Geno Smith got traded, and then I came in to be the guy to take over this team, so you know he's kind of mad. A little second and eight here. I realize my shoulder pads are probably kind of high. I probably should tweak that at some point, but for now, we're not doing it. Oh, this guy's crazy. Okay, we'll take that. You gotta remember as well, my guy is pretty lowly rated, like a 73 overall, if I remember correctly. There's not a lot that my guy can really get done oh my god aaron donald is a problem back-to-back -back plays we can sack punt the football i'm scared now for this drive you can do three plus pass completions five plus or seven plus let's do five plus let's see what we can do i think that first play kind of messed with my mind i need to just focus on like well not doing that but getting quicker passes out because this rams defensive line is killing me and to be fair this camera angle is like intimidating so you don't really know when a guy is open he was definitely not open there all right big third and ten they're blitzing 
My guy's wide open. DK Metcalf, run. Expose him. Run, DK. Run. We're going to get our first NFL touchdown pass. It was, we did. Okay, he got tagged at the end. It was looking bleak, but then it was looking great. Back out here again. Four consecutive pass completions. I'm feeling good. Look, I'm going to put it out there. This camera angle is difficult. It's not easy, but honestly, I kind of think it's worth it because when I got a touchdown off this camera angle, it felt 10 times better than I thought it was going to feel. At the same time, I don't want to be too one dimensional. Now, I am kind of annoyed that I have a C grade despite throwing a touchdown pass. I have 100 plus yards passing, but I did get sacked twice, and that's kind of on me. Let's see what this read option game looks like. And your boy's not like super fast, but we're going to show some speed here. I'm trying to slide. I didn't do a good job of it. We'll take the first. Oh, okay. It changes a little bit. Now we're to C plus, so the icon changes slightly. Dump down pass. Wow. Under pressure. Yeah, we threw that wild. Again, my ratings aren't super good right now. I'm also having to remind myself about like some of the passes I'm trying to throw that I don't have a great passer rating. So I've got to kind of take what we can get. And I'm going to slide here because I'm not trying to fumble. I don't know if it's going to work here. Halfback screens did not really work at all last year. But look at this. They're developing. We got blocking and Kenneth Walker is on his grown man stiff farming people for a first down. All right, that was one pass. We need three more consecutive completions to get our bonus for this drive. Kenneth Walker. Oh, nice joke move. Way to get open in space. Now, I'm also not playing on like super long quarters here. We're playing in about six minute quarters. So you can imagine if we played on kind of a, a truer quarter length, we'd be probably in a better spot. Oh, show the wheels. Show the wheels. Good game, brother. Show the wheels and get out of bounds. That's a late hit. I mean, as much as I want the four completions, like I'm not going to risk it there. Oh my God, he got hit hard. Something I noticed in the last play as well, I kind of pushed up on the right stick to try to throw a block. I threw a block and got a, actually a teammate bonus grade for throwing a block. So to me, that's kind of cool. We're not going to do it much as a quarterback, but I am going to do a lot of that. A touchdown pass across the middle. Jackson Smith and Jigbo, we're going to get him in the end zone. You'd love to see it. Second one of the game. First half is winding down. We got an 11 point lead. We're literally on our own two yard line. There's no shot I'm throwing a pass. I'm letting Kenneth Walker eat as he gets 11 yards on that carry. Hey, look, so going into halftime, 11 point lead. I've thrown two touchdown passes, no turnovers. I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of surprised. Now the Rams scored me for a two point conversion, three point game now. I'm trying to get 15 plus rushing. I'm going for 25 plus, I believe in myself. Now as a quarterback, when those options come up about rushing yards, those are for you and not for your entire team slash running back. As you're gonna see here, Kenneth Walker's gonna get about four yards. But it doesn't actually help me in my particular goal out. 130 passing yards in the first half. Things I never would have thought. Oh, I almost threw a pick. I think what's really cool is that I can really feel that after a little bit of time, when I start unlocking some of these different abilities, it's going to make a huge difference, especially as my ratings start going up. Because right now, I'm, I'm making it work, but it's still a challenge. And if you remember from earlier, if we get Gambler, for example, like I talked about in the first video, if you get Gambler in this mode, that's a godsend. Like, that will make things so much easier for you. Ooh, I was trying to step up in the pocket, but we got sacked. Aaron Donald has his second sack. He's got his X Factor. You can kind of see it glowing right now, so you got to be careful. It's probably going to be a problem. Oh, man, we got to get these passes down. All right, we need a big play here. Yeah, I just I felt like they had everything covered. Aaron Donald again gets another half sack. We got to punt this football play. We got to pray our defense does their job. Defense did their job. Now pass the seven plus yards, 15 plus or 30 plus. I'm going to say 15 plus. We are super deep in our own territory, though, so I'm kind of scared here. Oh, my God, they got the safety. Aaron Donald is having an unreal game right now. Playing against a 99 overall is insane. So many times we have started deep in our own territory. And it's scary because you've seen what Aaron Donald has done this entire game. He's been a huge problem trying to lock up here. They call that a fumble, bro. I've never seen back to back safeties before and we just had it happen. My teammate grade is in shambles. So they scored. They got a two point conversion. So now it's an eight point game, which again, just makes this super tough as if it already wasn't. Luckily, that's incomplete. It's been a rough game for us. We're trying, though. Underneath that screaming at DK. DK's about three, two yards short. Okay, we can make this work. Can we convert, man? Oh, they're gonna be sending dudes at us. So let's scramble out. That's been our biggest and best attribute right now is getting the scramble moving. Two minutes left in the game. Look, this is our final drive. This is our last chance to really go down the field and get this W. Oh my god. Dude, I just watched him bat that away. Aaron Donald reached over and I saw him bat that away. He has been a one-man record crew. 99 overalls are scary. Oh my God, we're getting the ball back. We got a chance here. I, I, 
I have one more chance. I had 100, I think 34 of my passing yards in the first half. <laughs> this has been tough. But we got him. Let's go, Tyler Lockett. Big play. Big play. We have no timeouts now. We got to hurry up. Right, let's see where our guys can get here. Aaron Donald is scary. I can't take a sack here. Five and a half sacks. He is scary. We have no timeouts. Probably could have spiked the ball there, but I didn't want to do it. Oh, my God. They are sending everybody. Keep in mind, this is all pro. We're not even playing an all man in difficulty. They are sending dudes. 25 seconds in a dream. Double teaming, guys. I like this. Please be complete. Oh, wait. Can we spike the ball? Five seconds. Okay, we spiked it. Four seconds. It's a Hail Mary situation. A Hail Mary situation. All right, we're about to go with the Rex Grossman method. Can I even get the ball down there? He's down there somewhere. DK, I believe. Please. <laughs> Listen, this was difficult. The Rams aren't even a highly rated team, and Aaron Donald had five and a half sacks today. I am scared of that man. So we get a performance thing after 199 yards, two touchdowns, 38 rush yards. We get 567 XP. It's a B teammate grade, which isn't terrible, but man, we left a lot of plays in the field, but they were incredible from a defensive perspective. So after the game, you get a quick synopsis of your player grade, the missions you completed, where you are from your superstar path perspective, uh, the rewards you get. We got five stars, which again, help us on our superstar path as our, we get on our road to the 99 overall. We got 700 plus XP. We got a showdown ability slot, which is going to be cool. We got perfection. We're going to find out what that is, a skill point and 100 cred. Pretty solid, even though we lost. And then as we go over our skill points here, we have our throw power, which we increase. We have our throw accuracy, which you could probably argue we could increase. So under pressure, there's a lot of different things we can ultimately do here. I feel like we're going to probably spend these points probably on medium throw accuracy for right now. Maybe we do throw power. I think we do throw power because we're going to work our way over to this first ability slot um, from bronze protector. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Get our throw power to an 81 because the 70s are not even going to be close enough. We need to be closer to a 90. And then from ability perspective, again, remember, we had the ability slot for bronze. We don't have anything yet to use there. But from the showdown ability slot, now we have some things to work with. We have perfection, which when these exceptional quarterbacks start a drive, defenders will have a challenging time intercepting bullet passes. That is really cool to me because, again, we throw a lot of bullet passes. So the more difficult it is for them to intercept them, the better. You can kind of see here from your level path perspective, uh, it says X Factor slot. You don't obviously obviously get a like X Factor level two. Uh, they move that'll be a bit later, but you can see what you can roughly expect. This might change in the retail version of the game as well to me out. But there are tons and tons of levels. You get skill points along the way. There's a speed boost kind of here, a permanent speed boost of plus one. So as you work your way through, you're going to be getting a whole lot to work your way in to be a much better quarterback. And then finally, at the very end, you're seeing here level 50, another, another speed boost, which and you get an acceleration boost and five skill points. There's a whole lot here, which I think will be helpful. And you can work your way to being a 99 overall. And one of the coolest things, too, is that after the game, you're kind of seeing your guys in the locker room. My dude looks a little sad because we just lost a heartbreaking game. Mostly is my fault. But it's cool to see these immersive environments with your player reacting to what exactly just happened. Nobody's really happy in this locker room and it shows. That's going to be it for this game, though. Be safe, be smart, tell somebody you love them. Catch you guys in the next one.